A Nigerian artist and digital content creator is generating interest while becoming an internet sensation with her creations. Technology correspondent Paul Ndiho has more. Hello, Paul. Hello, Esther. A self-taught fruit carving artist, Zainabo Zakari, discovered her passion for this unique art form at a young age. Her ability to transform our fruits, vegetables into intricate works of art is truly remarkable. She can turn a watermelon into a bouquet of roses and a stunning piece of art. I had the pleasure of speaking with Zakari about her creative process. My story as an artist started when I was very little, like I said. So um, I was a girl who loved drawing and painting. All the works you see on my page, like all my contents, are actually my first time doing them. I've never done them before. I seek inspiration from a variety of sources. And my, my major source of inspiration is nature and art. So I use nature's bounty to replicate nature. That is, I use fruits and vegetables to, to replicate animals and objects. I'm actually a self-taught. Um, I had no coach. I just started. I didn't learn it. In fact, it was just I woke up one day with so much inspiration to do something different, something, something like out of the box. <laughs> so I just decided to, to use nature's bounty to make intricate designs and whimsical animals design and then eventually people started loving what I do so I continued. You're using a bit of technology, you become a star on social media. How are you able to put your things out there and uh, create this kind of uh, environment where people are talking about you and uh, you know sharing your stuff around? I, believe I just believed in myself and I loved what I do but when I started, starting up I I believe whenever one is up to bring something new, something different from the usual, you must face rejection. And especially here in our locality, we, we tend to dwell in already existing stuff. We hardly welcome new ideas. But I was not doing it for the accolade. So I, I was doing it because I have a strong passion for art. And then eventually people start falling in love with what I do, and that added more grease to my elbow. <laughs> I, I like your choice of words too. <laughs> uh, so, uh, how about on social media? You've uh, how how are you able to create this content and within a very short time, I'll put it out there. Uh, do you have like a crew that shoots for you, or you set up everything for yourself and uh, do it? Actually, I set up everything. I I produce. I direct, I do the lightning edition. So I do the light, yeah, lightning edition. I, I do the creative thinking. I do everything by myself because I have a strong passion for it and I was able to overcome many obstacles. Design. So I am hoping to open an art school where I will teach people how to do it. And again, I want to open a fruit bar where I will be making masterpieces and displays. I will also be catering for various events and parties and receptions yeah so that's my future goal right now your ability to carve uh, fruits uh, into these uh, marvelous uh, pieces of art uh, is just remarkable thank you so much i really appreciate it in the region where you are northern nigeria uh, a lot of young girls don't get opportunities uh, to do uh, what you do is this something that uh, uh, every young girl uh, in northern Nigeria can aspire to do? Yeah, I believe anyone can do this. And as long as you have the you have the talent, you have the passion and the discipline before you start. Because if you wait until you are financially balanced, you will never get started. So, and then you... Uh, my advice to whoever is coming to my field is they should also, they should practice consistently. Because though I didn't practice, so I didn't practice, but I'm advising them to practice consistently and they should experiment with, with different techniques and styles. And they should also seek inspiration from a variety of sources. And they should, be, they should be open to constructive criticism. The strong passion I have for art makes me overcome many obstacles and as I realize my own strengths and resilience.
Where do you see yourself in the next uh, five years or so? I see myself running a fruit bar and also um, establishing or, already, or maybe already established an art school where I'll be teaching young, um, yeah, youth or young um, creative enthusiasts. Yeah, and also I want to start catering for events and parties. Yeah, I'm... That's what I want to do in the future. How are you able to continue doing what you do when you are not actually making any money off it? I believe in what I do. It doesn't matter if I make money or not right now, but I believe in the future I will make fortune out of it. Zakari is a Nigerian artist and digital content creator based in northern Nigeria. And that's our report. Back to you, Esther. Well, I'm so impressed. There was a BOA logo and uh, out of a watermelon. Thank you so much for that beautiful story. Ponji Ho. Join him every Wednesday for another informative tech segment right here on Africa 54. And that's our show for today. Be sure to watch Africa 54 on our website at voaafrica.com. From all of us here in Washington, thanks for watching. Oh. <laughs>